Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Excuse me, does this bus go by Tiananmen Square? Yes, it does. At which stop should I get off? There is a stop at Tiananmen Square. The stops will be announced on the bus both in English and Chinese. When the stop is coming, you just push the red button near the rear door if you want to get off. Okay, thanks very much. I want to have a continental breakfast. Here is the coffee, toast and bacon. Do you like fried eggs or poached ones? Neither. Can I have them scrambled? Of course. They will be ready in a few minutes. Hi. I'd like to have a beer. Hi. Good evening. Which kind of beer would you like? I'd like to try a local beer. What would you suggest? How about Yanking beer? It's very popular here. Sounds good. I'll take that. What's the cheapest way to go there? By subway. Oh, is that right? Is there a subway station near here? Yes. There's one on the other side of the building. Good. Can I walk through this building? I'm afraid you can't. You've to go out there and walk around. I see. Thank you. Yes. Ma'am. How could I help you? I am wondering if you do facial care? Yes. We do. How much would it be? From 200 to 800. I'm afraid 800 is too expensive for me. Could you recommend something around 300? No problem. Hey, why did you take that money? You are such a cheater. I should send you to jail. I am not cheating. When you pass go, you collect $200. Everyone knows that. Well you can't just take the money. You have to ask the bank for money. And I'm the banker. Banker? Yes. Can I have my $200 please? Sure. Here you are. $200. Thank you. Please come again. Now it's my turn to roll the dice. No, it hasn't. It's very dirty. Someone ought to clean it today. Mark should clean it. It's his turn. No, he cleaned it last time. It's your turn. No, it isn't. You always clean it after Mark. Oh dear, is it really my turn? In that case, I'll clean tomorrow. Clean it now. Only lazy people say they'll work tomorrow. Then I'll clean it the day after tomorrow. You are lazy. You ought to be ashamed. You should enjoy working. My stomach's growling again. You'll never lose weight if you listen to your stomach. Just a little steak, a snack, a bowl of clam chowder? You want to be beautiful, don't you? Think about the butter and flour in. You're right. But if I get too thin, my mom will make me go to the hospital again. Most models only eat once a day. If they can do it, so can we. You know, soup. Well, society makes us like this. I think you're hallucinating. What are you talking about? Well, thin is always in with the media. 
And your point is? If you aren't thin, you're nobody. I agree with you, but I think people are pretty bad, too. You lost me. People are always gossiping about one another. Yeah, but that's human nature. We can be so critical of one another. Let's change the stomach, I mean, the subject. How about some food? I have a taste for something sweet. What are you thinking? I want some kind of dessert. Well, what kind of dessert do you want? I was thinking about ordering some kind of pie. Do you know what kind you want? I honestly don't know. Did you want to know my favorite kind of pie? What's your favorite kind? My absolutely favorite kind of pie is apple. That sounds really good to me right now. I'm happy to help. Can I have the window seat over there? Sorry, sir. That table has been booked. Well, in that case, this table is the only choice. Actually, you can have a window seat if you don't mind a 10-minute wait. There is no need. Thanks. Paul, you were also a parent of young kids before. So, can you tell me what you did when your kids didn't behave very well? I know Mark is your only child. You may do it differently from what I did. Sometimes I would tap their hands when they made troubles. I do it, too. You know, sometimes when we eat, my child would pull a dish towards him and grab it with his hands and eat. And if it were something he doesn't like, he would spit it out and throw it into other dishes. He does it very often. I really get mad. I can't help spank him sometimes. And what does your husband do? My husband is an American. He criticizes me when I do that. He says that I can't change a child's behavior by using force. He is learning what I am doing now. But spoiling a child is not going to do him good either. You've got to have patience with him and teach him. It's not easy, I know. It's hard. Yeah. I'm still learning how to control his behavior and my temper. My child is almost two years old, and I've learned the distraction technique when he cries for something. Is there anything I can do for you? I want a shirt. What about this one? It sells like hotcakes. Well, do you have the same in black? Yes. I will get you one. Excuse me, but could I use your bathroom? Certainly. It's right over there. Thanks. What shall we do now? Let's get the table wares we need first, and then stand in the line. I've got all I need. Let's stand in the line now. It smells good. Look at these. They make my mouth watering. Me too. It will be our turn soon. Tell the waiter what you want when it's your turn. Okay. I'll have many cream cakes today. I don't like them. I think they are too icky. Excuse me. Would you please make a suit with this material? Sure. May I take your measurements? Please don't make it too tight. This is for autumn wear, so make sure you allow for a cardigan underneath. I see. Sir, can you come back for a fitting on the 10th? That's in a week's time. The 10th? I'm sorry. 
But you see I'm going to attend an international conference on the 11th. Could you have the suit ready by the 8th, or at the latest, the 9th? Well, a business suit usually takes 10 days time. But in your case, we'll try to have it ready sooner. How about coming for your fitting on the 8th? Then your suit will be ready for you on the 10th? That's fine. Thank you. Have you moved into your new house yet, Michael? We just moved in yesterday, actually. So, what do you think about the place? Are you glad that you moved in? It's great. Unfortunately, we're going to spend a fortune doing everything up. How old is the house then? It's about 200 years old. It has a lot of history. Sounds fascinating. Where is your new house located? It's just off of the Ring Road. Do you have a big yard? It's bigger than our last one. I've got flowers in the front, and fruits, vegetables and a fish pond in the back. Is your house well lit? Oh, yes. Our windows let plenty of natural light in. They've also got wonderful views of the park behind our house. How many rooms does your house have? Right now, there are three bedrooms, two bar rooms, a kitchen, a sitting room, a dining room, and a living room. We're hoping to add on a green room and a guest bedroom. In fact, when the guest bedroom is ready, you should come and stay with us for a weekend. I'd be up for that. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.